Hello, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today I thought I would share with you my little crochet hook in Notions bag. Um, it took me a couple years to find something nice that I liked putting my hooks in, and my husband ordered this off of Amazon for, I believe, my birthday last year. It is a pencil bag. So when I found this really nice case, it was on Amazon, I typed in pencil bag. So I thought I would show you what I have in it. On this side here, I keep some darning needles. Um, and the reason you'll see that these are here is because they're long and they don't fit in the container that I have over on this side. Um, and then I have nothing in there. And in this pouch I have my gauge, um, my knitting gauge. Now because I've just started working on, with knitting, I use this quite often to try to figure out what size knitting needles I have. I have um, a little pair of scissors in here. I have my favorite set of circular knitting needles. And so far, I love these. These are boys. They're smooth. I believe these are lace point. And I've really gotten to like the um, flexibility of this circular. And then also I have a pen. Ooh, look at this. I have a really long really long needle. Um, somebody had once recommended to me at Hobby Lobby when I was weaving in my ends to get a really long needle like that because then you just weave it in and out of what you crocheted and you pulled it through. I'm going to be honest, I used it once and didn't like it. And then I have these really beautiful bird winged um, scissors. My mom had a pair of these when I was a kid growing up and I always wanted to steal them. And I loved them. And for my birthday, or I think Christmas this year, my husband bought me these and I love them it was it was like a dream come true so that's in my front part and I like this because this zips shut and those things won't fall out so here is where I keep my clover amore hooks I have a K upstairs that I'm using and um, otherwise I have I don't have a D I have C E F G this is a 4.5 I have an H probably somewhere in a crochet bag, I, J, and I have a K. So I have my H and K upstairs. So these are here. Now I will say I did break this because these are kind of like, you know, rubber, plastic, whatever. I did break this one, but I just put two in there. Now the nice thing about this bag is it had three of these Velcroed in here. I only needed one. So I took the other two out and I saved them. Here I have my backup hooks, which I showed you in my hook video. These are the ones I got from Amazon. These are the ones I made with the polymer clay. Look like a toddler made them. And so that is where I keep most of my hooks. This part of the bag, I'll use my button container to prop it up, I keep my notions. I have a few more hooks in this little bag. These I keep because I use them to mark spaces, places in my patterns. So if I'm having a particular tough time or I want to remember a repeat, I use these to mark on my page. I put all my patterns in plastic sleeves and then this has a nice tacky sticky side that I use. Um, I have my measuring tape in one of these little things which I have to hide from my kids because they love breaking these. This I got the, at the Lost Sheep in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. This I bought at Joann's and I used my coupon 60% off a of one regular priced item. And so this was just a couple dollars. And I put all of my stitch markers in. So that's what I have here. I really love it because it uh, keeps them all locked in place. Um, I was in a ordering company called Darn Good Yarns. And along with getting the skinny yarn they give you a little tool. Well they gave me these little bamboo knitting needles. They're way too small for me to use and why one of them is in here I don't know because I felt like I threw them away. Here is another measuring tape but it's not in that handy little dispenser. This is where I keep my um, darning needles. Uh, apparently a button too. <laughs> um, these I got from Knitwit at my knitting group. She recommends these. This is if you have a very small tail 
that you are about to weave in your crochet. And you know how sometimes you can't maneuver turning the length of a needle? The nice thing is it slides, the yarn slides in and out so you can weave it and then just scoot it through. It makes it so weaving in shorter tails are nice. And you can buy these at, looks like this is all, I have two. You can buy these at Hobby Lobby, I know for sure. Just a few bucks, I think there's three of them, I think I've lost one. And then I got these giant plastic darning needles when I ordered my crochet hook set off of Amazon. I don't ever use them, I'm gonna be honest. And then a bunch of little metal ones. I keep them all in here. This originally had some stitch markers in there that I bought from Joann's, but then I, I put those pink ones in there and then I use these for my darning needles. Um, here's some trash. <laughs> A little bit of yarn. I'm gonna be honest I am not a hundred percent sure what this is for. I'm gonna guess you use it for knitting um, if you need to take out your needle. I am not a hundred percent sure. I've never had an opportunity to use it but just in case I do I've got it in here. I've got another pen, another crochet hook. This is that really cute one I got from Alaska. A a light a lighted hook that's just in there I think the reason I don't have any more room in those so a couple of these random this is a Hobby Lobby small point so if you work with steel hooks and you do like lace or cotton thin thread crochet Hobby Lobby does make these um, rubber handled ones are they called ergonomic whatever um, but like I've said before in another video, you've got to be careful because this rubs off. So you've got to store them in a place where they, where you won't have that problem. Um, I rarely use this, so it's in here. I actually, I think one of my knitting buddies used it and gave it to me because she either didn't like the feel of it and she knew I used those ergonomics. Here's some random thread. I think the reason I keep this in here with this is because I tend to sew a lot of buttons on baby hats and booties. <clears throat> and I use pink a lot. And this is my sadly battery dead stitch counter. Um, I've seen posts where people are like, oh, I wore it on my finger and it didn't count my stitches. Now this is not like a pedometer so that doesn't m register each stitch you have while you're crocheting. What you do is you crochet, you get, you get your work done, and when you finish your row, you hit that back one. And that is how it counts it. You have to push the button yourself, which is kind of disappointing, but that's how you do it. And then, um, let's see if I can zoom in. There you go, look at that. So the tally, if the battery weren't dead, were right there. So you push this to count your rows, and you put this, push this to reset it. But like I said, the battery died. Now, I think the reason that happened is because it's traveling around in my little baggie here, and it got bumped, and it just drained the battery. And because I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that it is not like a pedometer, um, whoa, you fell. Sorry, folks. I'm using like this little little handheld tripod. But anyway, like I was saying, because it's not like a pedometer and it doesn't register each row on its own, it was kind of like, eh, I'm not going to stop and push this button every row. I'm going to forget. And that's what I was finding, is that I forgot to <laughs> push the button. So there we are. Here's a nice little short video about my crocheted crochet hook notions bag. This is what it looks like. So if you want something similar to this, um, go to Amazon.com and type in pencil holder or pencil case. And I am sure that there's a lot of other ideas and things that you can find to hold your hooks nicely in the school supplies section because hooks can be similar to that of a pencil and they usually have those nice pencil holders. So that's it. That's what I have in this video today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And hopefully in the next video, I'll have something to hold up where we can look each other in the face while we chat. 
All right. Have a good afternoon. Happy crafting.